In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a low-budget rock separator for my Kubota tractor using mostly recycled materials. This will help me separate rocks and debris from the soil and make it easier to work with. The frame. This old machine pallet will work. It's heavy-duty, I don't need a welder, and it's free. I estimated how high to make it based on the dumping height of the bucket. You should always load this from the high side if you don't want rocks bouncing off your tractor. I also want the low part of the separator high enough off the ground, so the stones have somewhere to go and don't back up onto the screen. This will also have a plywood floor, so I won't keep digging a deeper hole each time I remove the screen soil. For my screen I'm using this section of chain link fence I had, and it's free. I did modify the section of fence so the wire mesh is on top of the pipes and screwed down. Now the 2 inch openings are too big for what I'm looking for, but it makes a strong base without the need for a center support. On top of that I'm using half inch by half inch hardware cloth. This will give me extra fine topsoil or sand depending on what I'm screening. Two types of separators. There are the gravity separators and shaker separators. I'm going with the shaker with a remote I can turn it on or off from the tractor. Not wanting to buy a gas motor, pulleys, belts, and all the work that goes into that. I'm using an electric shaker motor. This one I found on Amazon. A 60 watt weatherproof motor for under $40. This seems to be my best option. And I have power not far from my setup. This will bolt onto plywood that I attach to the metal frame with screws. This plywood cover will help protect the motor. To isolate the vibration, I'm installing rubber spacers between the frame and the screen. The hardware cloth is attached with zip ties at the edges and twisted wire in the center. I'm sure over time this would need to be replaced. This is a heavy-duty unit, and it weighs a ton. The lip of the bucket will connect with these hooks to make it movable. Now to give it a try. With a bucket load of gravel, I use the remote to start the shaker and slowly dump the load. The results are outstanding. If you made it through this video, let me know what you think. Is there anything you would do different? If you found this video informative or inspiring, please like and subscribe to see more.